The humble butterfly is a fun and beautiful move and it can really look like a butterfly flapping its wings if the planes are really close together. But you've probably noticed that when you're learning it, they will sometimes crash. To some degree, that's inevitable. It's part of the learning process, but there's a couple of hints that will make that learning process go quicker. And I've seen this work hundreds of times and you have to actually do it. Take your poi, or if you're showing poi to somebody, get them to wrap the poi around their hands and hold just the ends of the poi then to do a butterfly with their arms. And you'll notice she might have a preference, either the right arm on top or the left arm on top. So let's for now talk about the right arm on top and you can do all of this with the left arm on top in the beginning. Ultimately you want both ways. So what I want you to notice is this. If your right arm passes closer to your body at the top, it has to be outside at the bottom, further from your body. And I've never seen anybody not be able to do this yet. So if it's closer at the top and further at the bottom, it's on an angle like this. It's tilted towards you. Whee. The other poi, my left arm, is further at the top and closer at the bottom. So its plane is tilted away from me. So my right arm is tilted towards me, my left arm is tilted away, and that's why they don't hit. You can test. If your right hand, your right poi, passes closer at the top and tries to also pass closer at the bottom, that's when they crash. If your right poi is on top, what needs to happen is the bottom of that circle needs to fire away from your feet. It's as simple as that. If it does this, same like the left poi, they will crash. If you can keep that top poi firing away from your feet, tilted towards your face just a little bit, they won't crash. So as you're doing the butterfly, you need to get that top poi to go fire, 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 and you're pushing the bottom of the circle away. It's subtle, but this is what will make them not crash. To be able to do that, you have to use one poi at a time. This is another thing, when people do it, it works, but often they won't do it. Uh, and just for some minutes, but practice tilting it like this, back to straight, tilting it like that, until you get a sense of what you need to do to make the angle of the poi tilt like this. When you go back to two poi, try to do that a little bit, so that top poi does a bit of that angle. Uh, you will soon find they're crashing less. They'll still crash, this will take a little practice. As it begins to work, what is really helpful is to exaggerate those angles, then to slowly let them straighten onto a wall plane more and more and more and more until the poi finally start to hit, and then angle more, and then let them get straighter and straighter and straighter until they hit. If you keep doing that, that's where you're taking the steps towards a real mastery about how this move works. Because ultimately, you want them passing really close. Because it's when they pass close that you get that effect of a, of a butterfly flapping its wings. A space butterfly. A space organism with circular poi-like wings. And that's it. Uh, when people do those practices, from what I've seen, it really helps. You got to do it. It doesn't take too long. And I wish you lots of luck and success with your butterflies. <laughs>